Alrighty then. So, for all the talk about smart devices, computers are really uh, very dumb. You really have to uh, spell it out for them exactly what you want them to do. That is where um, code comes in, right? So you have to know the specific language of computers to tell them what they need to do, and you have to write it out in a specific order for them that they're gonna they're gonna execute. So let's draw let's draw some circles and stuff, and like throw some math at it, and see if we can make some kind of abstraction. Different game design environments use different programming languages, and Pico8 uses a language called Lua. It is a very pretty language that I enjoy doodling in a lot, and I hope you will too. Um, so follow along, uh, slow down, pause, rewind as needed. Uh, I'm just going to uh, keep going and uh, do a little little case study. Like where to begin? Let's begin with functions. Uh, I have I have shown you uh, print. Uh, before this is how you can tell kind of like a, a function from Another part of the the program. There's some kind of a keyword at the beginning and uh, then there's a, a, a set of uh, parentheses in the end uh, and Sometimes there's something in there Maybe there's a comma and then something else is in there as well uh, sometimes these something else's are numbers, sometimes they are strings. I will uh, talk a little bit more about uh, st variables in one second, but that's what these are. These are all variables. Um, in there is a name of a variable, something else is also a variable. Uh, 12 is another parameter, it's a number. Um, it is also being submitted to the same function. Uh, and ASD is a string. It's a little bit of text. It's a word or something. You can put whole paragraphs into strings. You can tell a string apart from, from the, the rest of the program uh, by the quotes around it, right? And then uh, a closing parenthesis. Some functions you don't need to pass anything into. You will still have to like tell the program that you're executing a function and that's where these like parentheses come in. And sometimes, again, there's something there uh, that you can you're sending to the program. So at the very basic level, uh, video games are drawings on the screen. So you're telling the computer what to draw on the screen. So let's look over here in the graphics section. Let's draw a circle. Okay, Cirque. Cirque is a circle. Uh, let's look it up over here in the documentation. Cirque. I have found that, like, usually it, it, when I when I search for 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 a very common function like circ, it is going to f find like a bunch of this one has found twenty two circs. Um, it's gonna be like the one that I'm actually looking for is like way ahead somewhere, and then you have to click forever. Ah, there it is. Um, the best way to jump to the actual circ function is to put a space at the end of, of the function that you're searching for. So that's my pro tip to you guys. It found only one and it found the correct one. Let's see, what does it say? Circ and circ fill. Draw a circle or filled circle at x, y with radius r. All right, so here we hear something. It will draw a circle with a radius, right? That makes sense, that's the radius of a circle, at the x, y coordinates. So here we have the introduction of the coordinate system. Uh, what is the coordinate system? So let's 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 go over here. This is the art tab, but if you look over here in this in this corner of the screen, when I hover over the drawing area over here, if I go to the top left corner of the sprite, it's 8x y0. And if I move horizontally, x increases. So this is x15. But y stays the same. And when I move down, y increases and x stays the same. So each point in this little field can be described uh, by a coordinate um, pair of x and y um, 
in the x and y coordinate space. Um, and that is how we are going to describe the entire screen. That is how we are going to map out the entire screen and draw on the screen. That is the x and the y uh, that the circ function is looking for, right? So let's draw a circ fill at the 0, 0 coordinate point and the radius 30 uh, pixels and then we're going to give it a color uh, let's make this one uh, oh, my colors? let's make it orange let's start to clear the screen this is the function with an optional color um, one of these numbers will clear the screen, right? So uh, let's clear let's clear it with number one. Let's make it dark blue, right? So I'm going to clear the screen, and then I'm going to draw our orange circle. So I'm going to go back over here, type run again. All right, so now we have um, a blue background and an orange circle. And you will notice that the zero, zero coordinate is actually the top left uh, corner of the screen so that is where the zero zero coordinate is just like uh, a second ago when we were drawing when we were hovering over the uh this guy the top left corner is zero zero it's actually not zero zero because this is not the first sprite but if we go to the very first sprite you will see that the top left corner is x zero y zero if we go over here it's x seven y seven so it's eight pixels across and eight pixels down right okay so we're clearing the screen, we're filling the circle, uh, and we're drawing it at zero, zero, blah, that, that's a cool one. Let's do another one. Let's draw another circle over here in other side of the screen, 127, 127. So this is the, the new center. I'm giving it new coordinates. Um, 127, 127. Uh, let's make this one uh, 60 uh, pixels radius. And uh, what color? Let's make it. Let's make it bright green. So I'm gonna type run again. Hit escape. Type run again. All right. So now we have an orange and a green circle. This is you know we are drawing on the screen. That is basically like what all of these commands are. Uh, let's uh, let's draw one smack in the center just for for. Com completeness sake circ I'm going to say 64 64 uh, let's make this one 10 and let's make it uh, red and yeah let's make it a circle so it's not a filled circle bam that sort of looks like something I don't know um, what if I wanted this circle to be a little bit fatter? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line here and make this radius 11 pixels. Keep it the same color. All right, that looks cool. Um, all right, so we're giving it commands and it's just drawing it on the screen. And the program is completing uh, and that is why in the top left corner you can kind of see uh, the, the the blinking the blinking cursor because we're not uh, running this program non-stop we're not animating yet we're just like drawing and the program is ending but animation is where it's at so how would we animate this and make it run uh, on its own right so far we have just been using like the existing uh, functions that we found in the API that do uh, very specific things for us on the screen but now we're going to create a special kind of function we're going to create a draw function so how do you create a function well write function and then you give it some kind of name uh, and we are creating a special function so we're going to write underscore draw and then open and close parentheses and then enter enter and say end I find that it is very helpful to whenever you create a new block uh, a new function or 
some kind of a container, right? Because that's what this is. It says function, uh, draw. Uh, and now here you can kind of give it specific commands uh, that will get executed in the draw cycle. So we can copy these guys, or actually I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to put them in here. So I'm going to indent this a little bit. Uh. It is a good practice to, to help yourself uh, figure out what is, what is where, um, to kind of like indent things that are inside of containers so that you can tell at a glance that like, like this code is inside of the container. It is not just sitting out here in the outside world. So run. Aha. So having having inserted all of our code uh, into this function, um, we we can run the, the the program. And now we no longer get that cursor up in the corner um, immediately, because now what's happening, even though we can't see it, is that our program is animating. It is actually sending us a series of identical uh, pictures and every single frame of animation that it's drawing on the screen it is clearing the screen it is creating a circle over here on the zero zero in the top left corner it is creating a circle in the center actually two circles in the center the red ones and it's creating a green one uh, right in the front of everything um, but we can't really see that it's animating how do we make it more apparent that it's animating. Well, one other cool thing about functions is some of them return values. Uh, so what that means is that instead of writing a value, you can write a function. So let's put random. I'm going to open and close the function immediately. So I'm going to put a random number in here. And I'm going to put a random number, if we look over here for random, rnd. Um, returns a random number n where 0 is less than equal to n is less than x. So if we pass it a value x, it's going to give us a number less than that. Uh, that's cool. So let's make it less than 60. So remember, we have just every single frame of our animation, this, all of this code is going to happen in. So let's see what that looks like. All right. We have a very excited explosion in the in the bottom right corner. That's cool, um, but it, I feel like it's a little too jumpy and maybe a little too big. So what if I say, um, give me a random number from zero to thirty, and then add thirty to that. So I'm going to get a random number from thirty to sixty. Um, by just kind of adding. So notice that now I've replaced what started as just a simple number, 60, I have replaced it with an expression uh, that is just kind of like, uh, give me a random number, like roll a dice, and add a number to it. Uh, and so now, I'm going to run it again. It's a little, it's a little less jumpy. It's still, it's still not like a, like a, like a nice kind of animation, but uh, uh, it, it does something, you know. It, it does something. <laughs>